Hello and welcome to my channel Crying Fly. My name is Steve and today I will show a fantastic tool what we can use for managing our Flatpak apps here on Linux. So the first one is I go here to the search bar and search for flat seal. And here you can see now this tool. And this tool allowed us to manage uh, our Flatpak apps so we can change the permissions. Uh, also you can change if maybe the Flatpak app Inkscape has only access to the images folder then we can maybe also configure uh, maybe the Flatpak app Zoom where we can uh, deactivate here the network or other things and so we get a very good option to configure these apps here on our system and then you have also another way when you configure these things here in the terminal but this one I will doesn't show you here today um, but when you're interested for this one you must here opening the website docs.flatpak.org and then you go to this one here sandbox permissions and here you get more information about these permissions here, standard permissions maybe here where we can change the permissions for access the network or maybe here for the file system access here and so on. Okay, so we come back to this flat pack app here, flat seal. I have already installed this here on my system when you also will install these Flatpak app, then it's very important that you have installed Flatpak on your system. And when you don't know, and when you don't know what you must do for install uh, Flatpak on your system, then you can find in my video description a link where I show you how you can install Flatpak on your system. Okay. So uh, now I go to my menu here and search for flat seal. Okay, you use it. And now you can see this window here. Uh, and here on the left side we can see uh, some flat pack apps. The first one is a flat seal. Okay, yes. And here you can see the flat pack app at home, Blender and Chromium web browser. Okay, so and here you can see the name of the Flatpak app, Flatseal. Then you can see here the name for the, uh, the name of the developer or of the organization. Then you can see here the current version of this app and here the date and here the runtime name. Okay, so and here you can see these uh, options here, what we can configure here with this very nice tool. So the first one is here for the share, where we have some options to deactivate or activate here the network, or here a socket, maybe here for socket cubes when we have maybe installed LibreOffice as a Flatpak app. So we can activate this option here to use our printers. So the next one is we have here the option for configuring here the device. Maybe this one here is very important when you use here maybe Blender as a Flatpak app. So and this one here maybe here uh, device uh, all maybe for access to the webcam maybe this is very important when you have maybe installed uh, the Flatpak app Zoom and when you maybe only uh, 
right with a person and you doesn't need maybe this uh, webcam here on your computer then you have here the options to deactivate uh, the webcam here for zoom so then we can here maybe also activate uh, Bluetooth and here is the option for file system and this I think is also very very important because uh, I think uh, maybe the Flatpak app Inkscape uh, doesn't need uh, access to all folders here on our system so I think it's okay when Inkscape has only access to our uh, images folder and yes or the Flatpak app LibreOffice has only access to the folder documents okay and so I think is this very important here to configure these things here these all things here uh, for our of our Flatpak apps so and then you can see here more uh, options and yes so now I will show you this one here uh, that this works here very perfectly uh, maybe here with the Flatpak app Chromium now you can see here a uh, network is activated and when I open in here uh, Chromium come on then you can see when I uh, search here for crying fly that we have uh, internet connection and when I go back and deactivate this one now then I go back here to my menu and search for chromium open and search for crying fly again and you can see now that we doesn't have here uh, internet connection so and so you can see that this uh, configuration here with let here works very perfectly and so we get a alternative way to configure these things here uh, over a graphical uh, window and so it doesn't uh, must configure these things here over the terminal so and when you maybe have here uh, configure this app here uh, wrong so you get here the option to reset all configurations to the standard configuration okay so that was for today and if you like it my video then we are good when you give me a thumb up please and don't forget to subscribe to my channel crying fly and don't forget to click on the little bell here so you don't miss any news in the future. Okay, goodbye.